Sorry about that, guys. Had little technical difficulties. I got the rare for that pack. Was a Pentavis. Camera a little bit. Alright, next pack. Let's see, so far no foil, but that's alright. A Dragon Claw. Onyx Mage. Consume Spirit. Archon of Justice. And a Foil Unsummon. Pretty cool. Almost halfway through the nine packs. There we go. Okay. Hunter's Insight. Sierra Angel. Phantasmal Dragon. And an Inferno Titan. Wow. It's my um second third Inferno Titan maybe? Second from Inflow. Um, not complaining though, that's pretty awesome for two packs, so, or for, I mean, out of nine packs, got it. So, we got a foil? Nope, no foil on that one. Comments, turn to frog, reassembly skeleton, flash freeze, and the rare, a frost titan. Are you kidding me? Really? I'm titan happy. That's exactly the same thing. I pulled, out of my last 10 packs, I pulled a Chandra, an Inferno titan, a frost titan, and a Sorn. And so far I've pulled three of those four. I traded the Chandra for a Jace. So. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty ridiculous. Got three more packs left in the packs, and then I'll, um, bring you the fat pack. I'm not gonna really get through the fat pack too much. I'll just, I'm sure you guys have seen a billion fat pack videos. Alright, Rustin Sentinel, Vampire Outcast, Thron Golem, and Misa Entrenchers. And the foil is a Manic Vandal. Can't really hope for too good of foils after pulling packs like that. It's pretty ridiculous. Pack 8 of 9. Alright. The Boots. Swift Foot Boots. Another Vampire Outcast. Cudgel Troll. And a Jace's Archivist. And there's no foil on this one. So far, like I said, I'm definitely not um, too unhappy with this pull. Chandra kind of, um, between Chandra and the Titans, they pretty much almost paid for anything I bought today. I actually traded in some cards though, so not too upset. Let's see. Uncommons, a Lure, Dragon's Claw, Buried Ruin, and a Sundial of the Infinite. That's actually my first one, so I'm kind of happy to get that. Alright guys, that was um the first nine packs. Let's uh, recap it with you guys real quick. Let's see. First nine packs, we got Monomania, Chandra the Firebrand, yes, Pentavis, Archon of Justice, an Inferno Titan, that's pretty awesome. A Frost Titan, that's even more awesome. Mission Trantress. Jace's Archivist, and a Sundial of the Infant. So yeah, go ahead real quick. I think I probably have time to let's go ahead and crack the fat pack. Like I said, you guys know you guys have seen. I've already done one, so I'm not gonna go through all this opening stuff for you. I'm just gonna open it. You guys know the box and all of that stuff for it, so. Oh, 
only thing we care about right now is cracking packs. So. So let's hope my this fat pack was not as bad as my last one. The last one I pulled no mythics and just I mean straight crap for the Raiders. I mean I'm hoping I'm not wishing for too much. I know I pulled three mythics just now in nine packs, so I don't wanna curse myself. But uh like I said, just hoping for maybe a few good even just good rare pulls, you know, putting mine. I've got a place at a grand abolish right now, but wouldn't mind pulling a couple of him for trade and um you know. Any of that good any of the good rares. So well hey man, here we go with nine more packs. This is the fat pack pack. Any foils? Nope, no foil. Okay. Uncommons are a goblin grenade. A great sword, an acidic slime, and the rare is a personal sanctuary. Yeah, like I said, this is probably my um, last fat pack opening for a little while. Or last box opening. I think I'm probably just gonna save some money up and uh, hold off until Innistrad, since it only comes out in a month, so. Or a little over a month, but you know. Alright. Uncommons, Mind Control, Stinger Fling Spider, Combust, and the rare, it's another Misha, Misa Enchantress. Might give me a place out of her, I'm not sure. Like I said, I'll post anything I've got. I'll post some, hopefully, maybe a new trade binder up here pretty soon. I just posted one, so it's probably not going to change too much unless I pull a lot of stuff. I've actually got a place out of Jace, so if I pull a Jace, it'll definitely be up for trade, so check that out. So let's just hope. Alright, uncommons. A Dragon's Claw. An Arblast Elite. Culture Troll. And the rare is a Vengeful Pharaoh. And there is no mythics, or I mean no foils. I'm hoping for a mythic. So in my last fat pack I didn't pull any, so. <coughs> it actually happens, you know. Like I said, with this, with three mythics pulled out of those nine packs, I guess can't hope for too much. Any commons? Goblin Bang Chuckers, Alabaster Mage, Angel's Feather, and Jace's Archivist. No foil. I swear, I almost thought it was another Jace there for a second. Got me excited. I've heard a lot of people that happened to, and I uh, just fell victim to it as well. I would say we got I open the fifth pack. Got four packs left after this. Jason's Ar archivist was an okay pull, but so far nothing um too spectacular for the fat pack. Okay. Uncommon Goblin Bang Chucker, Master Mage, Master Thief. Throne of Empires, that's only my second one, so that's pretty cool. Oh, and a foil, Throngolm. Throne of Empires is pretty cool, once again, nothing uh, spectacular. So, four more packs. I'll check every now and then, see if I got a foil on it, a foil on that one. Another Goblin Bang Chuggers, a Rock Egg, Spirit Mantle, the rare is another Sundial of the Infinite. So that gives me two Sundials. Went from having zero to almost half or half a place up. Three of packs, guys, let's head for something good. I said I would like to at least pull one Mythic out here, that'd be two fat packs in a row with no Mythics, which would kind of be disappointing. Got a foil on this one. Arbless Elite, Azure Mage, Master Thief, 
I drown catacombs. And the foil is a foil. Oh, sutured gold. That's pretty cool. Two airs. That's always kind of a good thing. Oh, and there goes the camera. Sorry about that, guys. The setup is not the most stable. So I got two more packs. Foil on this one? Yep. Got another foil. Come on, foil, rare, foil, mythic, that'd be awesome. Turn to frog. Thorn Golem. Cudgel Troll. Drake Satchel. And the foil is. Oh, a foil Sun Petal Grove. No, it's just a dual lane, but that's kind of cool. It's my first foil dual lane, so uh, that's pretty nice. Two foil rares. And Mythics. This might even have to end up making up for a Mythic, which is going to kind of suck, but you know. Once again, can't be too picky. Pulling three mythics and two foil rares. So the last pack guys. No foil on that one. Oh look, upside down card. Saw some of the other day pulling those like crazy like that. Alright, Autumn's Veil. Vale. Mind control. Phantasmal Dragon. And another Drown Catacombs. Wow. Um once again, I pull crappy fat packs. Um, two foils isn't too bad. I mean, the foil rares are kind of cool, but that's pretty crappy. So, I've got uh, plenty of drone catacombs up for trade if anybody wants any. Um, might have some Jace of Arca Jace's Archivist. But uh, you know what? It's okay. Because these three bad boys made up for it. Chandra, Inferno Titan, and Frost Titan. So, uh, yep. Alright, guys. Uh, I'll do a quick recap. Everything. Let's see. From the fat pack, I got another the Druidic Satchel, two Drowned Catacombs, Sundial of the Infinite, Throne of Empires, Jace's Archivist, Vengeful Pharaoh. Mesa Enchantress, Personal Sanctuary, and then, um, Portal Foil Sun Petal Grove, and a Foil Cedric Gold. So, uh, yeah, hope my videos aren't too boring for you guys. Uh, as always, if you like it, um, hit the like button, uh, subscribe. I need some more subscribers, it'd be kind of nice. So, uh, yeah, guys, uh, as always, if I can keep affording them, I'll keep buying them. Talk to you guys later.